how are the top teams going to reinforce in the summer for the second season of the Super Leagues? Hello everyone, welcome to the What If League and uh, today I am starting season 2 of the, uh, of the Super League series. This is going to be episode 1 of uh, season 2 and uh, in this episode I'm going to see the new teams in the new 5 divisions and the transfers that happened until the 31st of July 2018. Afterwards we're going to move until the um, Super League Super Cup has been played so that we can prepare for the start of the season. So first of all, uh, we begin with Super League 1, where champions were Real Madrid with 73 points, two more than Manchester United, with Juventus, Barcelona and Arsenal just behind them. The teams that got relegated were Porto, Benfica and Roma, which means that those three teams are going to uh, perform in Super League 2 uh, in Season 2, of course. Uh, in the new season, the, the three uh, newcomers are Lyon, Valencia and uh, Monaco. So they are going to be the three teams joining the uh, top uh, the top teams in the top division Super League One. We're going to see how do they um, how do they play with the big guys. In Super League Two, champions were Monaco uh, with uh, Lyon and Valencia also qualifying as we just uh, mentioned. Gremio, Corinthians and Ajax were relegated. Then in the new season, the teams that are going to be a part of Super League Two. We can see them on the screen. The new guys are Hoffenheim, Schalke and uh, Olympique Marseille. In Super League 3, champions Hoffenheim with uh, Marseille, Leverkusen, Borussia Mönchengladbach, Gladbach, uh, Schalke and Real Sociedad finishing behind them. Um, you already see on the screen which teams qualified for Super League 2 and relegated were Feyenoord, Chivas and uh, Cruz Azul. In the new season, the teams on the screen are going to be performing in Super League 3 with uh, Real Betis, Real Betis, Southampton and Espanyol being the newcomers into that division. In Super League 4, champions were Real Betis, relegated teams Anderlecht, Red Bull Salzburg and uh, Pumas. And the newcomers from uh, the lowest division were West Ham, Sampdoria and Stoke. So they are going to be the teams joining the, the rest in the Super League 4. And finally we have Super League 5 which is now the lowest division. You can see the teams on the screen that are going to compete in that, uh, in that league and uh, they're going to be hoping to earn a promotion for Super League 4. Now looking at the transfer screen, the top transfer already happened has been Kylian Mbappé's move from Monaco to Paris Saint-Germain. This is an arranged transfer so not surprising. Naby Keita uh, again another arranged transfer. And the one that is new actually is Paulo Dybala's move from Juventus to Manchester City for 55 million pounds. Harry Kane moved to Manchester United for 47 million pounds. Vinicius Junior is an arranged transfer, we already know about that. He moved from Flamengo to Real Madrid. Alexandro joined Manchester City from Juventus as well. Gelson Martins joins, uh, joins Manchester United for 38 million pounds. Kevin Strootman going to Manchester United uh, along Alessio Romagnoli from Milan. Then we have uh, Andrea Zivkovic joining uh, Paris Saint-Germain, uh, Rajan Enguan going to Arsenal, Nikola Kalinic going to Milan. A lot of big transfers, you can see them on the screen. I'm just going to scroll down so that we don't lose a lot more time just going through those. You can see very, very interesting moves have happened in this summer. In all directions, to be honest, we can see uh, players uh, joining top teams, joining teams from lower leagues. Uh, it's a very interesting turn of events. I guess they have a lot of uh, money to burn. Although the uh, the uh, awards from the Super Leagues are not that big, but uh, considering that these are the top teams in the world, I don't think uh, there is anybody else out there that can outspend them, uh, besides uh, the Chinese teams, of course. But uh, they have not yet uh, joined the they have not yet joined the transfer window, I guess. Now let's go to Super League 2 and see what happens there. Let me go back to the top. Some of these teams uh, and some of these transfers we have already seen because they involve teams from different leagues. So that's uh, quite natural. I'm just going to try and outline. Uh, there is a Chinese transfer. You can see Felipe from Porto went to Tianjin Quanjian for 12.25 million pounds. So this is uh, one of those. Let's see if we have some others. Although uh, here you can see that uh, no, uh, the big transfers are very limited in uh, in quantity. You can see that the transfers here are very for very small figures. Let's go to Super League Three. 
here Tottenham are the main uh, buyers from Ajax and Leverkusen respectively. Monaco also bought two players here for the big sums and uh, everything else is for smaller smaller amounts. Then going to Super League 4. Duvan Zapata from Napoli joined Sampdoria for 15.25 million pounds. Bayern Young from Milan joined Torino for 10.75 million pounds. Patrick Schick went to Roma for 8 million. And other than that, it's uh, smaller transfers in Super League 4. Then in the final Super League 5, Roberto Gagliardini from Atalanta to Inter. 17.75 million, a big transfer. Andres Sibarquen from Racing Club uh, to Deportivo. Munas Dabur, I'm not familiar with that name. Uh, Red Bulls Salzburg to Shakhtar for 5.25. So this is an Israeli player. He's playing as a striker, also capable to play on the wings and in the number 10 spot. And everything else here are smaller, smaller transfers. Now, finally, before I fast forward to the Super Cup game, I want to see the job security page. And as you can see uh, on the screen at the moment, Arsenal and Napoli are looking for managers, while um, Javi Kaleha's position at Villarreal is insecure. Everybody else has a stable job at the moment. But uh, all of this is going to change once uh, the season gets an, uh, under its way and uh, games are starting to be played. Because as you know in football, for somebody to win, somebody has definitely have to lose. The date is now the 8th of August 2018 and the Super League Super Cup game has been played. Real Madrid lost at home to Arsenal 1-2. In that game, this is a game in which the uh, Super League Cup winner, which was Arsenal, is playing with uh, Super League 1 champion, which were Real Madrid of course. And uh, apparently the English team got the better of uh, Los Blancos in that uh, one-off game. Danny Welbeck scored in the 4th minute to give the Gunners the lead. Uh, Isco managed to equalize in the 29th minute, but uh, new boy Nainggolan uh, scored in the 56th minute and um, got the victory for the London team. I'm not sure if they're still in London, considering that all of the teams in the Super Leagues are now in Portugal, but that's not really the point here. So. Uh, what I'm going to do now, finally, is I'm going to fast forward until uh, the uh, beginning of the season when we're going to have a quick overview and uh, then this will be the end of this episode. It is now the 18th of August, which means that Super League 1 matches are about to begin. Actually, the first uh, set of games is about to be played later today, but uh, I'm not going to follow on that. I just want to quickly uh, show you the transfers once again to see if we have maybe some new transfers that uh, have happened in the meantime. Uh, so uh, let's have a look what, uh, what have been the top transfers so far. We can see that Roberto Firmino moved from Liverpool to Bayern Munich, so this is a very very big transfer there. Rafael Varane also moved to Chelsea, so another big transfer here. Uh, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang was uh, bought by Chelsea as well, so a lot of transfers happening at Stamford Bridge. Marquinhos joined Manchester City from Paris Saint-Germain, another big transfer there. Rafael Guerrero joined uh, Paris Saint-Germain. From Dortmund. Who else? Who else? Hector Bellerin joined Barcelona from Arsenal. Then let's let's see in Super League 2 if we have something new. That's interesting. Costas Manolas uh, going to Paris Saint Germain. I'm not sure if this is new. I think so. Indeed, uh, Lata Lautaro Martinez from Benfica went to Monaco for 18.5 million pounds as well. Andrea Petania from Roma to Hoffenheim, another transfer in August. Ante, Ante Koric went from Dinamo Zagreb to Roma. Aaron from Espanyol went to Hoffenheim, so we have a lot of transfers that are happening at the moment. Teams are trying to strengthen their squad before the start of the season. Alvaro Drizola, the right fullback of Real Sociedad, went to Juventus for 28.5 million pounds. That's a big transfer for them. And a lot of money for Sociedad, of course, which they spent on Douglas from, from Fluminense. Douglas is a defensive midfielder, so it's not a like-for-like -like replacement. Although, uh, probably they also bought other players as well, I'm sure of that. Uh, and if not, um, I'm guessing that their manager is going to promote one of, uh, one of the guys that are already at um, Real Sociedad. Let's now see Super League 4. Jaguar Aspas joined Monaco from Celta Vigo. Then Jack Butland went to Chelsea from Stoke, another transfer to Chelsea there. Pione Sisto from Celta went to Real Betis. Juan Car from Malaga went to Krasnodar. And uh, Milan Gaic 
or Gajic, I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, from Krasnodar went to Flamengo. That's very, very interesting, uh, a Serbian player at Flamengo. But um, they have to compete, so I guess uh, they're buying players from all over the place. Finally, the transfers in Super League 5. Juan Carri already saw that uh, he went to Krasnodar. Who else is here? Armando Itzo from Genoa to Fiorentina. Omar Mascarel from Frankfurt to Boca Juniors. Josue from Anderlecht to Ajax. Valdivia from Internacional to Sao Paulo. A lot of transfers happening here. Teams are really getting ready for the start of the league. And uh, uh, to be honest, I cannot wait to see what is going to happen this season. Let's see the starting fixtures. We see that uh, Bayern Munich are going to take on Arsenal in the first game. Chelsea are hosting Dortmund, Inter, Paris Saint-Germain, Monaco, Liverpool, Napoli, Juventus, Sevilla, Milan, Tottenham, Real Madrid and Valencia, Lyon. Very, very big clashes in the very first uh, round, which of course is the same every round in this league. Uh, you can see on the left the teams that are performing. Every game is a big game here. Alright, with that I think this is enough for the uh, first episode of Season 2 of the Super Leagues. If you haven't seen Season 1, uh, you can find links in the description below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for my channel, that way you're going to automatically receive notifications for when I upload new videos. You can also see uh, the links uh, to my social media in the description. Um, feel free to check them out, there are a lot of interesting things there as well. Let me know what you guys think about this experiment and uh, what would you like to see um, next, if, if there is uh, some specific uh, simulation that uh, you want to see played out. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Once again, thank you for watching and until the next time, bye!